So this is Kaif's Kaya is famous. Um This I don't know. Just start. Kyle woke up. He is famous. Yeah, I agree. Let me turn up the audio. Skip more. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. Okay. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year, and the public has noticed. Hmm. Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. <coughs> okay. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore stuff. Kyle's park. Yep. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. Hmm. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and lovely philanthropist. Philanthropy. Uh. Okay. She is I don't actually know that word in English. This interview requires preparation. Who the heck is she? <laughs> I don't know. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Okay. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. Hmm. Except the best about social media. This is me. Kyle started to scroll through news articles on his phone. Read article. Stay up late with Kyle ranked number one and number two show on television. How do you rank number one and number two at the same time? Read more. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Hmm. Read more. <laughs> the Another hours like, spent three hours on Evidence fucking points to phone. Traitor fleeing the country. Okay. Get out of bed. Um. Open the crosses. Choose an outfit. Kyle um, decided to every action to taken hours? Now Are you Kyle serious? He's slow. Slick suit. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. Yeah. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Hmm. Sit at Dex. He may some of that and sit down. Why note for interview? Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a modder? Am I a modder? Is your modder a modder? That's a good Kyle question. Wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Beef, mash up branded. What the fuck? <laughs> Ever eating a raw egg hole? Yeah, that's an interesting. Kyle wrote question. down his third question. What is your funniest story? Do you ever smile? This is the good question. Wrote down his last, last question. question. Do you feel guilty? Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Back to room. Exit. Exit. Move to kitchen. Oh, we don't have time. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Um, eat the fridge. <laughs> Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device. He started to swallow. Yeah. In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. After many gurgles, pops, and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure the fridge would not come back out. Okay, I'm full. War? <laughs> no, it's not war. Return to hallway. Leave apartment. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Can start conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expecting Zero hours. Gabby asked Kyle, tell me about yourself. Kyle hurried to the set. Oh, no. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Okay. 
As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle. Bad food. <laughs> no, it's a broken I'm phone. Forward to being here. <laughs> this is the same boy Kyle acting. Responded. Scream and spin in circle. Answer politely. Kyle stretched his arms wide, tilted his neck upwards, and was interrupted by his producer telling him and Rachel that it was time to start the show. So, okay. The moment after weird. seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Okay. Kyle vomited all of the horrible things he had eaten earlier onto the floor. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Rachel looked at Kyle, concerned, gave a couple coughs, and decided to play it cool and keep the show running. Warm with on air life. This is the greatest achievement with your life. Kyle stopped, then vomited again, and <laughs> continued with a shaky voice. <laughs> Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss. <clears throat> so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. <laughs> hey, Rachel, ever eaten a raw egg hole? asked Kyle. Um, like shell and all? Asked Rachel. <laughs> Kyle continued. I have, uh, like, a lot. It's really bad, though, so sometimes I spit it back up. There was a silence. <laughs> okay. It actually gets easier the more you do it, continued Kyle without losing momentum. So don't start, I say. Rachel chose not to answer and looked in another direction. Huh. Kyle asked another question. Is your mother mother? So, said Kyle, my mother is a mother. My mother's mother is her mother and my mother's mother. <laughs> oh, how did you say that? My mother is a mother. My mother's mother is her mother and my mother's mother. They're actually really hard to say this in English. And many mothers have mother's mother's mother. Is your mother a mother? <laughs> Rachel went to answer and stopped. Okay. I believe... She said eventually. Yeah. That I should answer... Yes? Kyle asked another question. Do you ever smile? Do you ever smile? Spat Kyle. Like, seriously. Rachel stopped smiling. <laughs> Stop smiling. <laughs> He's just like... You what? <laughs> if you're going to be on the show, you need to smile, okay? Said mm. Kyle, not smiling. Okay. You're here to get views, and you'll get more views if you smile. Here, I'll show you how. Yeah. Kyle turned to the camera and gave the audience a huge, teeth-clenched, bug-eyed grimace. Wow, I can see that. It's a sus face. It's Joma's sus face. Rachel nodded, and obviously wanted to move on. Kyle asked another question. Kai is sus. Yeah, he's sus. Rachel, do you feel guilty? Asked Kyle, <laughs> hitting her with a hard question. This is like the web of emotion just hitting, hitting on Rachel and the viewer at home. Rachel raised her eyebrows. About what specifically, Kyle? Things. Things in general. Life. Rachel did not answer immediately. I think, she said, that everyone has things they regret, but those things aren't always what others would expect. Rachel folded her hands in her lap and didn't have anything more to say. Yeah. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Spin pen is like me click, right clicking. It just spin. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something? <laughs> Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. 
Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Oh. Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Mm -hmm. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. Quote unquote, gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. <laughs> Fucking food, yeah. Oh my god. Prepared very well. Mobile option. Repeat main menu. Yeah, this game is actually like. It will be repeated like Kyle's this. <clears throat> Kyle started to scroll through. New East Bridge being what? constructed after being found to not actually. We start, let's start. First decision of morning. What means worry? Exit the bed. Speed run. Exit. Leap. Visit textile. In textile is still by Techno Gym. As the ev evaluate, you need crosses. The fuck crosses. I don't need crosses. Cut out mascot thing. Softness on small microphone. Um, give a review of free sample. This phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Yeah. Kyle continued. Also, the screen has had issues ever since I used it to hammer nails into the wall. Furthermore, when I submerge it in water, I get severely shocked until it runs out of battery. Hmm. Okay, I can see that. The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Hmm. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. Okay. We sit downstairs neighbor. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Consume Gabby. Oh man, this game is re really war instead of... Kyle unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. <laughs> Job done. Kyle returned to the middle of the street. Gabby? <laughs> we got Gabby, everybody. <laughs> now it's, go it's time to hold the interview. Move the kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. He crushed on fridge wall. Kyle breakfast. constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast, along with eat. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. Return. Shake penny. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Okay. Mm, Return to bedroom. Open the crosses. Uh, shoot an outfit and uh, decided to take suit up armor. <laughs> Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt okay. like the right thing to do. Okay. After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Oh, sit at Dex. Okay, we are running. Sitting. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, no she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Politely. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hand. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Yep. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Become Rachel May. <laughs> the game gives you option to imitate. However, said Kyle, suddenly dropping his voice, Rachel May is not sitting next to me. Oh. She is not new to this show. She did not walk in before me. In fact, said Kyle, I am Rachel May. Oh, this is a Twitch. Uh, this is a, a, a Twitch. No, no, no. Pot twist. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel looked at Kyle, confused, and silently mouthed the words, You are who? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle stood up quickly and threw his arm high above him, pointing upwards. I have never been, Kyle, he proclaimed. I have never been the host of the show Stay Up Late with Kyle. Oh, my God. Kyle looked and pointed directly at the camera. 
I am here for but one reason, to interview myself. Kyle sat down in his chair and went to produce the notes he had taken earlier. This man has 300 IQ. It was then that Kyle remembered that he had not bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Mm -hmm. Realizing he did not know how to handle this situation, Kyle began sweating profusely, but he continued. Firstly, he said, is your, uh, is your name Kyle? No! Kyle slammed his fist down repeatedly. Then he stopped talking. A thick, uncomfortable silence hung over the studio. He's stupid. <laughs> the silence did not it. end. The cameras stupid. continued to roll. Nobody moved or spoke. <laughs> Imagine you're like turning turning on the TV like late night show and everyone just like <laughs> no. <laughs> Eventually, Rachel got out of her chair and walked off screen. One by one, members of the crew followed suit. Eventually, Kyle was left alone in the studio, camera still running, silently sitting in frame. This episode of Stay Up Late with Kyle became the longest episode in television history. <laughs> oh my, television his. Okay, I'm curious. I'm gonna go to Google and what is the longest episode in television history? The longest uh, episode of TV television. Um, I actually don't actually don't know like this TV show, but it's two hour and two and a half hour. Yeah. What is the longest? I think it's this one, but it's two and a half hour. I don't actually know, like, what, <laughs> you know, I can't, I, I don't think I can, like, play this because the MCA, but, yeah, apparently this, this, like, this is the longest TV episode in the history, you know. <laughs> yep. Kyle continued to sit in front of the camera all night and into the morning, wishing it would end. Yeah. As evening fell again, the crew shuffled back in one by one, getting in places to film that day's episode. Kyle continued to sit motionless, <laughs> cameras rolling, as the crew chatted about their days and got in position. <laughs> okay. Eventually, the crew officially started the next episode. Kyle was prompted to introduce himself again. Is this, is this time loop? Kyle had produced an incredibly artistic episode. <laughs> wow. Kai was autistic. New cursor. Oh shit, new cursor. Locks. It's a flashlight. Back up. This. Oh my god, this ton. This 100 and. This is 117 ending on this one. This Kyle this game. woke up. The first decision decision is browse Kyle social. Started to scroll through What's news that Gabby? On his phone. I don't know. Read article. Stay up late with Kyle rank. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Another grand larceny and crime spree streak. Evidence points to perpetrator fleeing the Fuck country. it. I just want to spend... A time with like f my with my broken phone Rachel may to unexpectedly leave the country on very very yeah, long I'm, I'm going to do that too interview tonight who is the bug vigilante recently spotted pursuing larcenists Kyle fails to show up to several charity events oh bug vigilante shows up to charity events with fresh baked pastries donations flourish Hot dogs making resurgence as fuel source for both humans and tugboats. Hmm, okay. 
phone model recalled. Techno gym stores blame overuse by customers. <laughs> overuse by customers. Oh. Kyle's phone exploded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, this is what happened when you overused. Scowing. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for... Bucks. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon, he had a small handful of various insects, dead and alive. E immediately. I'll say for later use. Say for later use. Kyle stashed the wriggling mass for later use. Yeah, back to bed. Balls of bucks. <laughs> Sit at decks. CD. Take classical carnival festival dance. Two for dancing. Okay. Put some mail over his dead and sat down. Check and draw. Small key. Kyle. Took the small key back to room, exit. Check the locked door. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway. Fought it over. That the door was locked from the inside. Fought. Kyle decided it would be best to try to force the door open with use of his face. After smashing his features into solid <laughs> wood for several minutes, Kyle gained severe short term amnesia. Oh my god. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna sucks. Well, to leave apartment. <laughs> Rachel's smile quickly turned to shock as she realized Kyle had not put on clothes. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to put on clothes. <laughs> Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. As it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left all alone. Oh. <laughs> Being a nudist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to see... Okay, let me set this. I just want to see the... Kyle? This... Kyle ending after smell yeah and then return to bedroom uh quickly crouch down box just like save for later and sit at decks shake in drawer and bring CD bring dance music with him and then choose the outfit Kyle is decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit knowing Gina how swimming goggles is Gene is swimming goggle. Yeah. <laughs> you do white note. Oh, yeah, uh, shit. Yeah. White note for the Kyle interview. Kyle wrote down his first question. Am I a martyr? Kyle wrote down his second question. Beep. Kyle wrote down his third question. I purposely ran over a puppy. What is your funniest story? Yeah. Kyle this. wrote down his last question. Are you guilty? Kyle ripped his page. Okay. And uh, shake the text draw flashlight. Okay, we are. Actually, hurried, we got flashlight. We got flashlight. Across from his host chair was a glamorous woman <clears throat> with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle. She said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. <laughs> Forget her name, woman. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Um, you. Kyle's ears began to ring from his concussion. Oh my god, we're going to die. Rachel looked at Kyle, slightly confused, but continued smiling. Before she noticed the glazed look in Kyle's eyes, the producer approached. Time to get started, he said, putting a hand on Kyle's shoulder. Let's get stationed. Kyle sat in the nearest chair, which was Rachel's. After a moment, Rachel hesitantly sat in the host chair. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Good morning, everyone, said Kyle. My name is... Uh... Kyle made a desperate effort to remember his name or really anything. Kyle looked at Rachel. Do you know who I am? 
he asked. Rachel looked back, confused. <laughs> who are you? Well, if you're not Kyle, I don't know who you are. Rachel smiled sweetly. Oh my god, Rachel is stupid. Is she can remember his face? Like Kyle made up his mind <clears throat> that he was probably Kyle. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I'm Kyle. Okay. A long silence followed. Eventually, Rachel spoke again. Um, and I'm Rachel. Hi, everyone. She waved. Hi, Rachel, said Kyle. So why are we here? Rachel was visibly worried. Ha ha, funny, she said. Weren't you planning on asking me any questions? I mean, I, I don't have any ideas, said Kyle. Kyle kept staring at Rachel. <laughs> Someone coughed. Kyle looked around and noticed the crew. Who on earth are all of you? He asked. Nobody answered. Kyle got out of his chair and walked off frame, leaving Rachel alone with millions of viewers. <laughs> Rachel smiled at the camera nervously. Well, she said, let me tell you some knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Eventually, the producer ended the broadcast early due to technical issues. Oh, my. Kyle woke <clears throat> up in his bed the next day, remembering nothing about what had happened. Forgot everything. Kyle just forgot everything. Okay, this time, exit the bait and... Kyle quickly... Kyle's I will... Do this. Open cross it. Shoot, Kyle. like, the armor outfit. And then, uh... Exit, move to kitchen. Oh fuck, I forgot. Uh, turn to bedroom. Set a text. No! Shake and draw. Small key. Kyle grab. Back to uh, decks. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor. Okay, okay, okay. I just waste. Die on the bed. Hmm, that sounds right, but. Move to kitchen. Kyle wanted to a lock with the pantry smoky. door instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains. Kyle he just wastes his time, yeah. <laughs> massive amount of Can can this game is like rewind. Skip to the end of day. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, bottle. Kyle voraciously grabbed the closest bottle, snapped the neck against the wall, and sucked out all of the fat within a minute. Kyle wildly sucked down another bottle. He felt very sick. Kyle's vomit and the lard were mixing in a way to make it hard to tell which was which. As Kyle finished the last bottle of lard, he felt a wave of accomplishment come over him. Okay. Kyle hurried Bad to food. the set. <laughs> Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. So cut the note. Oh yeah. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You? She After can. other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened. Okay, start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Kyle vomited all of the horrible <laughs> things he had eaten earlier onto the floor. Rachel looked at Kyle, concerned, gave a couple coughs, and decided to play it cool and keep the show. Kyle stopped, then vomited again. <clears throat> Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss. <clears throat> so we might as well dive right in. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. In a shock, Kyle realized he had <laughs> never bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Knowing he had the eyes of millions upon him, okay. Kyle came up with a solution quickly. Produce ball books. <laughs> well, Rachel, said Kyle. I wanted to show this to you. Kyle produced the ball of bugs he had accumulated from his bedroom floor. Rachel took several beats to figure out what Kyle was holding in his hands. A look of horror. <laughs> this, 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 
This sounds like Eric Andre show, <laughs> to be honest. Kyle, what on earth is that? She <laughs> asked. Is it alive? Uh, maybe, said Kyle. Here, watch this. Kyle, staring at Rachel, opened his mouth wide and slowly inserted the gooey ball of bugs. Oh my god. As Rachel watched, obviously unsettled, Kyle began to chew very slowly and intently. <laughs> Eric and Rachel, <laughs> season As six. To swallow, Kyle coughed several times, covering Rachel in partially chewed bugs. Rachel sat, still shocked, processing what had happened. Kyle finished swallowing and opened his mouth to show that there were no bugs left. Well, that was satisfying, he said, smiling widely at the camera. Rachel got out of her seat and left the studio. People have by eating bugs. <laughs> oh fuck, I should like... Wither away. Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. What the fuck? <laughs> Kyle is now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Skip to the end of the day. You can actually skip like the hours. Get out of bed anyway. Let me like the ghost interview. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with it. As Kyle approached her, Ra Rachel's smile quickly turned to shock as she realized Kyle had not just have put phone. on clothes yeah. that day. Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. <laughs> as it became apparent that Kyle had no intention oh, of leaving, ending. Rachel yeah. made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left all alone. Yeah. I think this time I'm just gonna go like with her away. Kyle is get out of it. You become a ghost. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you become a ghost. Better cross it. Shoot an outfit, Kyle. slick suit, and then just like fuck that. I have become a, a ghost. <laughs> Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. <laughs> Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. This is do anything. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. And I as well, Rachel. Okay, this is Kyle. technically the same thing. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, the moment we, after uh, the moment the start the podcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who need. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle. In response, Kyle collapsed on the floor. <laughs> what? From a combination of stressful preparation and not eating anything, Kyle had passed out. Oh, no. Nobody in the studio quite knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle in the back to see if he moved. Bet. After a while, they ended the broadcast, shut off the lights, and went home. Kyle was left face first on the floor. Why does... Why does... Have, why does have everyone just like... Why does everyone just ignoring him? Someone should call the ambulance or something. Starving himself. Yeah, you get... If you're not eating food, you get like starving. So, I want I want the ghost ending. I just like. Okay, the requirement is Kyle. shoot the outfits, uh, in uh, the outfit and. Um, hallway, kitchen, open fridge Kyle and uh, open the fridge, intending to. Kyle constructed eat. Kyle ate his return. Yeah, and then we got food. We got so we got ghosts, we got broken phone, but mm, let me see. Return, return to bedroom. Let me. Kyle quickly. Cr Kyle began to comb through the damp piles of filth and mold on his floor in search of helpful items. 
After finding and eating a few bits of crumbs and old cheese, what? Kyle found something much more important. Indeed, it was the corpse of Harry, a friend that had gone missing years ago while at Kyle's house. Kyle was glad to see him again, but was unsure of whether to interrupt such an important day with Harry business. Deal with Kyle Harry. Kyle hoisted Harry onto I'm, his shoulder and took him outside. I'm not I'm not gonna do the notes because I want to pay dead. You know. Kyle began dragging Harry's body down the street, drawing what? many, many stairs. Kyle knew exactly where he needed to take Harry's corpse on a lovely That changed day, everything. Just the two of them. Kyle and Harry started at the arcade. Kyle used Harry's arms to operate the joysticks and push buttons. After five or six different games, the two friends had enough tickets for a single candy bar. They took their prize to the local park for eating. Kyle tried to feed some of the chocolate bar to Harry, but Harry seemed to not have an appetite. After eating, Kyle noticed a nearby playground. He dragged Harry over. Kyle tried to figure out a way to swing Harry onto the swing set, but lacking the ability to grip, Harry kept falling out. Oh, oh my Instead, God! This Kyle duck. started to lug Harry to the top of the slide and shove him down time and time again. Finally, Kyle took Harry to the movies to see as many popular films as their pocket change allowed. Kyle quickly found that he had no pocket change, so he searched through Harry's pockets until he found his wallet. Oh. No. Kyle bought two tickets to a love romance. After getting inside, Kyle left Harry to go find a restroom. Okay. By the time Kyle had finished using the restroom, he had forgotten that he brought Harry along. Oh. Kyle watched a love romance by himself. Harry's corpse sat on a bench in the atrium. While Kyle was in the movie, a beautiful thing happened. Beautiful thing? Harry's corpse, imbued with the power of friendship and love, was reanimated. Harry's old, rotten flesh gained color oh and my God. his fingernails regrew. His oh. missing eye came back. Oh my God. By the time the movie was over, Harry was able to greet Kyle with a large, friendly hug as his old self. This is good ending. Kyle was confused, but delighted to have his long-lost friend meet him on his way out of the theater. The two made plans to get drinks together and parted ways for the day. Kyle returned home, forgetting about the interview with Rachel. Hell of Finn. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Draw. CD. Bring it. Take the dance music with me and then the closet. Slick suit. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor. Okay. Move to kitchen. They're getting to Kyle opened the fridge, intending eat something. to find something to eat. Kyle constructs smash. Kyle smashed his breakfast to a pulp using both fists. Oh. Hello. <laughs> okay. Nothing left. Oh no, we didn't eat. Fuck. I'm, I'm wasting hour. I, I I don't I don't know. I have CD. I don't I want I want CD ending. <laughs> Sitting across from it, as Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and Why smiled. smash the food? I don't know. It gave me op an option. I wanted to Good know. Good evening, Kyle. She said. Kyle responded. Screaming, spinning Kyle in circle. Kyle his arms wide, tilted his neck upwards, and was interrupted by his producer yeah. telling him and Rachel. Insist. Was... Kyle shoved his producer out of the way, spread <laughs> his arms wide, and began to scream loudly. <laughs> He began to rotate slowly, screaming throughout, lightly brushing his hands against the faces of <laughs> Rachel and his producer. Yeah. After several minutes, Kyle was finished. He slowly put his hands to his sides and smiled. I'm ready. I'm br <laughs> said. Rachel blinked at Kyle, shrugged, and walked over to her seat. You will pass out. <laughs> yeah, a pretty much. After seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras... Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to... Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing Produce the CD. lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. As Rachel started to reply, Kyle clamped his hand over her mouth. Hush, he said. I need to do something before we can continue. Kyle removed the CD he had brought to the interview and placed it in a nearby player deck. 
The sound system kicked into action, piping Kyle's music throughout the studio. Rachel briefly listened, a blank expression on her face. Smiling, Kyle closed his eyes and enjoyed the music for a moment. Then, he spoke. All right, now everything's ready. Let's begin. In a shock, Kyle realized he had never bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Knowing he had the eyes of millions upon him, Kyle came up with a solution quickly. Kyle slumped in his seat and played dead. Kyle, what are you up to? Asked Rachel, still smiling. <laughs> the music! Kyle respond and hoped nobody would ask questions. <laughs> the music is killing! Kyle, why are you pretending to be dead? Asked Rachel. I can see you breathing. Kyle held his breath. Oh my god, he's dead for real. The producer whispered to Rachel over her earpiece. Give a couple of slaps across the face and see if he wakes up. Rachel got up from her chair, walked to Kyle, and slapped him firmly across the face. Rachel slapped Kyle continuously, trying to get him to stop play acting. Other members of the crew stepped into frame to start slapping Kyle as well. <laughs> Soon, Kyle was lost in the amassment of people around him, all slapping his face with both hands. The slapping went on for many hours. Kyle did not wake up. He's dead. Eventually... Kyle did not need to pretend to be unconscious. <laughs> He's dead. I prefer my dying. <laughs> Bad ending. Okay. My note. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a martyr? Kyle wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Kyle wrote down his third question. Kyle wrote down his last question. Kyle rip Chicken draw Kyle abuse Fast light Kyle grab Back to dex Back to room Uh Open the closet Choose an outfit Kyle decided to take some time To choose the perfect outfit Knowing Kyle chose the pasties Made out of mashed skunk flesh Get it Move to kitchen Eat. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find the, something Eat crush on fridge wall. Kyle started scraping streaks of crud and spots of mold off of the walls of his fridge. Oh my god. After wadding it into a crusty, moist ball, Kyle popped it into his mouth and began to chew. Several <laughs> minutes of crunching later, Kyle finished and swallowed the ball whole. It felt sticky in his stomach. Oh my. Just turn to hallway. Leave apartment with the tech store. Still techno gym. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed techno gym by the shoulders. Finding that techno gym's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to heave upwards. After several tugs, techno gym broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Kyle glanced at the attendant, who was staring, bewildered, and ran outside. Kyle. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle. Good evening, Kyle, she said. <laughs> it's a real techno gym instead. <laughs> Kyle roughly shoved Rachel out of her seat and placed techno gym in her stead. <laughs> Hello, techno gym, said Kyle. I'm going to interview you today. Kyle grasped techno gym's hand and tried to shake it, but instead tore it off the cardboard frame. Kyle's producer, sensing viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of frame and motioned the crew to go live. Cameramen moved, lights flashed, and suddenly the studio was on air. Hi, I'm Kyle, said Kyle, and tonight I'm going to interview a very special guest. He pointed at Techno Jim using the dismembered arm. Techno Jim started to smoke from the heat of the lights. Oh my god, how, the, the light is... Studio light is bright, yes, but the studio studio light can burn the cardboard cutout. It's not something that is safe, you know. Would you like to introduce yourself? Asked Kyle. Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Kyle took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Hi, 
Hi, Kyle, he said, raising the pitch of his voice. <laughs> My name is Rachel May, and I'm a very special guest. Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible, and you should feel ugly. Kyle oh my gave God. him a meaningful stare. Wow, Kyle, he said. I sure wish I could look like you. Techno Jim burst into flames. <laughs> Comedic moment. <laughs> Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated. Curtains of water poured down from the rafters. Oh. Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water. The set was soon a burst with electrical fires. Oh. Kyle's crew abandoned their posts as cameramen and sound mixers to try to put the fires out. As the crew scrambled around, the cameras continued to run. Kyle sat, motionless, staring forward. Eventually, the fires were all put out. Kyle's producer shut off the broadcast, leaving Kyle's vacant stare as the final frame. Kyle's rating skyrocketed. Oh my god. It skyrocketed. Everybody just loved that. Techno Jim became a staple on the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode. <laughs> you success. Yes, I think Kyle is successfully creating a new type of show. It is a new comedic show, you know. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard portrayal did. Rachel was very popular. Oh my. Interview Rachel. Yeah. Inspect Rusty. Kyle locker. knelt down and inspected the old rusty container that had been in his closet for ages. It was locked, but had a blade shaped slot in the top. Hmm. Okay, so what should we do today? I think I'm one note. wrote down his first question. Am I a martyr? Kyle wrote down his second question. Kyle wrote down his third question. I propose for you ran a puppy. Kyle wrote down his last. Are you guilty? Kyle. Okay, back to room. Pin across it. Shoot an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time. Cut. Yeah. They said to hallway moving to Christian open feet and Kyle opened the pad back foot. Kyle. Cut. Okay. Leave the apartment. We should text though. This phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming up. Kyle continued. Also the screen. Furthermore, when I submerge it in water, this is the I same one. Shocked yeah. until it runs out of battery. The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. Okay. Ky Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. And I as well. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who ne- Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in. I'm very ready. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. <laughs> okay, we are going to start a... <laughs> hey, I ran over a puppy on purpose, said Kyle. <laughs> Everyone in the studio froze. Kyle spread his hands out wide. It's a joke! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go eat. Yeah, see you later. He started laughing from the bottom of his stomach. Have a have a great meal. Why is he standing? Nobody laughed with Kyle. Several <laughs> minutes later, he stopped laughing and moved on. Okay. Kyle asked another question. A burning question from the fans. Said Kyle. Beef. Do you prefer it mashed or blended? Rachel answered promptly. Mashed. 
and no more was said on that matter. Kyle asked another question. Rachel, am I a mother? Kyle looked at her very <laughs> seriously. Rachel was visibly unsure of how to respond. Well, Kyle, I think you might be a better source of answering that question than I am. But do you think I'm a mother? Asked Kyle, pushing further. Rachel paused for a second before answering. I think... You inspire youth to pursue STEM fields, she answered. Kyle asked another question. Rachel. Are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor, stood up and pointed at her. <laughs> Rachel's eye twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Guilty, spat Kyle. Of your crimes! Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both <laughs> twitching uncontrollably. Call the police. <laughs> Kyle whipped out his phone and started dialing the police. <laughs> Kyle quickly realized that the broken phone he had gotten for free was not able to call anyone. Oh. Kyle looked sadly at his hand, realizing he had botched a wonderful opportunity to be helpful. Rachel looked at Kyle smiling. Her eyebrows twitched a bit. What's the problem, Kyle? Anything I can help you with? She glared, still smiling. Kyle looked up from his hand sadly. He slowly shook his head. The interview continued on. Rachel answered questions cheerily. Kyle forced a smile through the entire episode, but he felt very sad inside. Kyle had missed his chance to be helpful. Oh my. Kyle wasn't helpful. <laughs> Yeah, but I think custom new story. Oh my god, you can unlock the. You can do. You can DIY. Oh. I see. Yeah. It had workshop too. I see. Okay. One more, one more. Kyle woke up. I think one, I should do one more. Just being a ghost, Kyle, you know. Kyle. So being a ghost and then set a text. No, no. Put Kyle on the suit. To take and then exit. Move to kitchen and eat. Kyle opened the quote unquote eat if the goat can to eat. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. Turn to hallway, leave apartment, hunt around. Kyle felt a sudden pull on his heart. Had he abandoned his job as a ghost? Was he fulfilling his spooky, ethereal role that he'd accepted while lying in bed this morning? Kyle realized he had no other choice. He must spend his day spooking about. Kyle decided he should make a plan about who or where he should spook. Spook neighbor Gip Gabby. Spook the interview. Kyle thought that it would be best to continue his daily course, but with a twist. Today, he would still go to his studio, but instead of conducting an interview, he would haunt. Excitedly, Kyle made his way to the studio early to find the best spot to conduct his ghostly duties. The studio was empty. Being so early, the crew wouldn't arrive for several hours. Kyle gleefully skipped around the building, finding the best spot for himself to hide. After searching for some time, Kyle decided to hide behind the guest chair. Kyle quickly placed himself down and drew his legs to his chest. <laughs> Soon, the crew began to arrive and set up for the interview that night. Invisible to all senses, Kyle went undetected. He watched as cameras were set up, screens were turned on, and pages were flipped. Oh, wow. Within an hour, Rachel walked into the studio. Hey, and I'm back. Welcome back. Rachel, smiling kindly. 
I'm ready to get prepped. Who do I we are talk to first? actually doing a ghost ending. So the studio is haunted now. Kyle's producer approached her. Thanks for being here, Rachel. You should really talk to Andre about makeup first, and then wait for when Kyle arrives. Kyle, knowing he was duping everyone, began to giggle uncontrollably. It was then that he, like clockwork, ceased to be a ghost. Hmm. <laughs> the studio grew silent. Everyone stared at Kyle, head down, clutching his legs and giggling at the floor. Kyle froze. He had found himself in a situation he had not encountered before. Kyle started to crawl out of the studio on all fours, hoping his small form would avoid attracting more attention. Everyone wordlessly watched as Kyle slowly made his way across the stage, <laughs> through the production set, and out the door. As soon as he was outside the studio, Kyle broke into an all-out sprint. Kyle made his way back to his apartment as quickly as possible. Kyle sat in his kitchen and processed what had happened during his day. He vowed that he would never haunt anything again. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle left. <laughs> he just, you know, <laughs> left. Oh my. One more, one more. First light. Huh. Kyle scooped up the change scattered around the desk drawer. Kyle. Hmm. Okay. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Prepare. Eat. Kyle. Return. Return. Leap apartment. Sit neighbor. Kyle. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Scream and spin. Slowly, Kyle started to twirl outside of Gabby's door, arms outstretched. He tilted his neck upwards and let loose a long, passionate, and meaningful scream. As Kyle continued to spin, Gabby shut and locked her door, as she did every time Kyle screamed outside her door. Eventually, Kyle ran out of breath and fell over. Oh, okay, that's ch changed nothing. We got a uh, low change suit and uh, food. And then we see the tech store. By battery. Kyle counted out $1.98 in pennies and nickels and traded them for a oh small packet of batteries. Okay, this time... Good evening, Kyle. Kyle responded. And Take care. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel... You forgot the note. Yeah, I, I purposely for forgot the note. A moment after seating... Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel... Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might... I'm very... In a shock. Knowing he had the eyes of millions upon him. <laughs> very ratio for lack of notes. Yep. Rachel, I need to be honest. You're not terribly interesting, and I could not think of what I should ask you. In fact, continued Kyle, I would far rather interview a fish than I would you. <laughs> okay. And furthermore, said Kyle, I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a you and a fish. Oh my god. Kyle leaned back in his chair and desperately hoped the blame had been shifted adequately. <gasps> Rachel glowered at Kyle. Oh my. Kyle glowered back. <laughs> Rachel left the studio. Kyle no longer had a guest and spent the next 42 minutes staring at the camera silently. <laughs> I just do a joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right.
Yeah. All right. I might play this game like later. I and mean, this game is very interesting. It might get like my God, this is so many common combination. You know, yeah, it's just food hat on you. Yeah. <laughs> this is so many combination. This is yeah. I might play this game later in the later date. Yeah, but that's all for today. I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> it's fun. It's a, it's a, it's a fun game. So yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to raid someone. Let's see. Oh, this guy playing Cyberpunk 2077. That raised the snow. He's playing Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm just gonna raid uh, him. Da, da, da. Thanks for watching. Let me cut the 